The Florida Senate is getting creative and trying to bring back the controversial anti-rioting bill. As Jake Stofan tells us, the move is drawing criticism from Republicans and Democrats. In late March, the Senate Rules Committee made an uncommon maneuver, taking up a House version of a non-controversial bill that had been stuck in a lower Senate committee. A Republican and Democratic lawmaker expressed concerns. I want to ensure that we don't establish a precedent with this bill. I really hope we don't do this with the anti-protest bill. A week later, a similar move was announced for the controversial anti-rioting legislation. It's now going to be heard by only one Senate committee before reaching the chamber floor. The Senate president defended his decision to reporters. About half the Senate is on the budget chair and the budget committee. So I just think that's the appropriate place to send it to so that it can be fairly vetted before it comes to the floor. But Patricia Brigham with the League of Women Voters says sidestepping the process on a bill that could have First Amendment implications is dangerous. It absolutely does deserve full vetting. And when it eventually goes to court, which I'm sure it will if it's passed, I think that's one of the things that should be pointed out. This bill was not fully vetted by our legislative process. Democratic Representative Evan Jenny is holding out hope the Senate won't act as a rubber stamp. That the Senate does the right thing uh, and that this bill uh, is put down uh, for the whole of session. The legislation is expected to get its one and only Senate committee hearing Friday. If senators ultimately pass the bill off the chamber floor without amendments, it heads straight to the governor's desk. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. And we reached out to the Senate sponsor of the Combating Public Disorder Act for comment on this story, but did not hear back.